Welcome to Hulgrad. Oh, look at that. Go right in through here. We are still in Hunrath. Alright, so we've just unlocked this area. Let's check her out. Does this just mean I have to go back? I was looking forward. Okay. Yes, so. Well, one of the things I do want to accomplish is. So that's going to have to wait. Is we walk through over here. Came, we were following the tracks and we came through over that way so what I want to see is if I walk I can see here I can walk through the wall here what happens here oh 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 I know where this is okay This is back in the main area of Hunrath. Actually, one thing I do want to check before I check that way, which I will do in just a moment, is we had this note. Here. Uh, photos. How do I look at photos? Here, photos right at the top. We had this note from last episode to say that Farley's lock code was changed. So I wouldn't mind, and it's her address backwards in all likelihood. So I wouldn't mind. Getting a snap of her address. That's her house over there. So that if we find a lock with a code on it, then there it is. So this is 1436. So I'll take a picture of that because I will on all likelihood forget that. And then we'll go back. So Last episode, I took the train up that way, so I just came down from this way. You can see I can also bring the train up this way. And actually, I had come up here last episode, but I cut it out because of the length. Where I just opened this door, it just opens. And then I used the uh, blue beam on the rail cart to blow up a bunch of rocks that were here. You see what's happening. There's a projector here, and it's projecting rocks. So you're actually wrecking the projector. Oh, I got... Where is this going to take me? All right. Where are we? Oh? Oh, nice whale. Uh, we are back above the scrapyard here. There are train tracks. Hang on. Am I on the other side of that door? Oh, I think I might be. Excellent. All right. So that's where it just was. All right. That wasn't so hard. And if you notice, let's do a quick tour. But this railroad track goes around in a circle, which means that I will be able to use this to turn that rail car around. I spent a lot of time last episode looking for a spot. I knew there was a spot somewhere from my previous playthrough where you could turn it around. So uh, we'll definitely turn around and head back out and see what else we can access. We have some sort of vantage point here. Book. New Arrival Inventory Check-In. CRT. Short hose, two switches, small leather pouch, power supply. Oh, I think I got what this is. Definitely, oh, that's all it is, okay. Definitely when you look around this place, everything is 
jury rigged. Everything's put together just from a mishmash of parts at hand. So it's probably just, you know, when new things arrive here, they're doing an inventory of what's showing up and obviously trying to figure out how they might be able to use that. That's, it looks like all I can do up here. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. Walk over this way. No, I can't. That's it. There's something over here, though. Okay. So this will end up taking me down to the scrapyard, which is on the other side of the garage, which I definitely do want to do. I can see I can get into the garage from this side. I definitely do want to do that. Um, but I want to first explore where else I can go with this rail car. And then we'll get back to CW. His last piece of advice for us was to get through the wall, which we have now done. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> there was actually nothing wrong with it. I was pushing E out of... No! I don't know what happened there. It drifted maybe a little too close to that wall. And it was, as I was saying, I was pressing E there out of habit from other games. It should be just clicking with the mouse. This is a mouse-centric game. So we're just going to take this. And we're just going to ride it around. And then when we come out, we will be facing the other way. Which should be useful to us. I'm definitely going to be looking for more of those rock projections to explode. Okay, yeah, this will go this way. I noticed this short bit of track here before. It has to be here for a reason. Oh, I think I see something down there. Here, switch the switch. Um, down there is more rocks with a red sparklies, which means it's a projection of some kind. Where is... There we go. Turn on the laser. Yeah, got rid of some rocks down there. I can't get down there, but likely useful for later. Okay, let's back out of here. look down this way if there's anything worth my time to fight my way through here oh no it's just the rock on the other side okay there's some steps up this way I don't think I ever came up here either Oh, oh, I think I see something. Uh, this is a projector we... I don't think I've been to yet. The tree! Let's watch this. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrad for as long as anyone can remember. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse. Our cell we live in. Our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. Okay. Hmm. 
Any door? Yeah, of course. rocks. Okay. Let's go talk to CW. Now that we've gone for the through the wall, maybe he has something for us. Other than that, the only place I see to go is to take that ride down to the back of the scrapyard. That seems to be the place to go. Yeah, go ahead, pretend you're busy. Okay. Um, so, get under the tree. Now, I do know what he's talking about with his battery. The cable for his battery. Is there anything? No. I wanted to check the back of that door. Wasn't anything silly back there. Something silly hidden. There's an area. This is the workshop we were in last time. This is his big old battery. Here, we have his cable to connect, let's just say. Battery capacitor log. Well, I don't think there's anything important there. Uh, it's just there to let you know. This is a battery there. Done. Okay, so. Did that for him. Now, we can walk along here. And it's heading towards a tree. And that is encouraging. We need said tree to be healthy. Oh, looks like uh, part of the bridge is out here. We're not getting past that. Oh, and healthy trees, of course, need water. So we will do that. I hear water going, so I think we're doing something good. Okay, meantime. We're gonna go back up to the scrapyard. And take that ride down. Get into the back of the garage. See what's up with that. And I do really want to get to Farley's. Still have that clue about Far Oh wait, my train, my train, my train. 
I'm not actually convinced the train goes faster than I can run. But we're lazy. Let's park her out here. Fun ride. Here we go. Now, I did notice, by the way, after I posted the video for the last episode, that I don't have power everywhere. In fact, the power's not on for the garage and something called the ramp. So we'll have to investigate what that is about. This is quite a pile of. Oh, this is the other side of the power box. And... Ah. Uh, does this say what this is? Downtown garage. Okay, so this might be... And I noticed the power was... Okay, so now power's on, hopefully on the garage. We'll be neat and tidy and close these doors again. And we are now in the back of the garage. That is a strange thing. Okay. I do believe I know what this is, yes. This is the control panel. The villains, the vil not vil lines have supplied for us to use. Although they are able to control their systems via vocalizations, they have provided these control panels for other species to have limited access and control. If you have trouble, please find war for help. Remember, the V line, V line. Numbering system is base four. Oh, good. A base four numbering system. Drag from one blob to another to form V-line digits. Drag between blobs to disconnect. Standard panel has five digits, but single digit panels are also are also <coughs> excuse me are also used. Use only first digit to simulate a one digit panel zero to three. Panels will auto cross. This is like an exercise sheet. Here, I'm going to take a picture of it. Uh, and assuming this is an order, one, two, three. No, it seems to be getting too complicated quickly. But I think, let's look at this again. Yeah. So this is an exercise panel. Okay, wait. Write that one. No. Oh, there we go. So we sort of cut this there. That, I think... One. There you go. So they want you to play around with... Will it tell you what a two is then? If I enter two, press enter. Ah, that's a two. You know what? I should take it. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Clear this enter. So there I can get this in one picture. There's a one. Okay. Clear. That's the digit for two. Clear. That's the digit for three. Oh wait, wait, did I enter it? That's still two. Yes, it was. There's three. Three. Clear. This one will be telling because now this is four, but remember it's base four, so this would be should be one in the next place value. So we'll see what how they do a one in the second place value here. There's a oh okay. So one was here. 
So that's four. Shifted up one. So five should be a four plus another one. So it should fill in that one for five. Well, let's take a picture of four. And we'll clear that, do a five. Let's see if my theory is correct. Yes, so this, see how that works? So this is one in the fours column and then one in the ones column. This is now a two digit number. Okay, I can probably surmise other numbers from there. Take a picture of that one to remind me how that works. But otherwise, I think we are out of here. What's this? Are you in trouble? Need help? Call 155 help you. We can help. Kenway, Billum, and Bale Law Offices. Free consultation. Um, okay. Here. Picture. Not sure if that's particularly useful or not. Other than that, I think. here oh yeah -ha. there this is plates I think this just gets back out here where we were okay so let's go actually let's check out oh hello it's actually let's do a quick look at the map that is right around here we should now oh look at that everything's nicely powered now all right so we shall go there was a path saying this way definite path going this way so we'll take this path stuff there well, again I can see a walkway so there's definitely some way to get over there and you can see you can get up there too well, we got a path going this way but thinking we need a code here and I think I know the code that I need it's Farley's address backwards so that is 6341 6341 6341 haha -ha! all right and the ever popular trick in these missed games <laughs> is to hide something behind a door. So where does this go? Oh wow, this seems to go for a while. Let's uh check out over here. Okay. Oh, we have a lot. I think we got a lot of stuff to take a look at in here. But I believe we are in Farley's house now. Yes. This is where we came at the beginning. But I'm thinking this might be a good place to end this episode. Beginning of next episode, we'll explore this, see what information we can glean. But until then, thank you for watching.